Hey guys, it's Raven and we are back with another video. Today we are doing Crochet Market Vlog 7. So I do have a consignment and the market happening at the same time. But the consignment is 3 days and the booth is 1 day. So I have to set up my consignment stuff the day before the consignment and then booth. And then pick up my stuff from the consignment. So I will be preparing a lot of crochet stuff for both the consignment and the market. So this time I will be boofing with Mika's market again. It is a one day booth at Katong Juchat, which is like a level two of this little building and it's somewhat central. So hopefully there will be more food traffic this time, but luckily it's only one day, so even if there isn't much sales, it's only one day. So it's not too bad. Yeah, I'm excited for the booth and the consignment. And currently, I have some melon sodas. It is a free pattern by... Yeah, and I was kind of doing trial and error with the hook size. Usually, I would use a 3.5. And I felt like the stitches could be cleaner, so I used 3mm instead, like a smaller hook. And it looked nicer. So, the thing is, I lost my ergonomic hook for my 3mm. So, I had to buy a new one and... I'm waiting for it to arrive anytime now and here I have a bunch of projects I wanted to do so I really like crocheting food so I crochet these strawberry clips it is a free pattern on Pinterest, but I will link it in my description if you guys would like to make one for yourself. And I also made like a double-sided... Oh. I also made a double-sided one for a keychain. It's really cute. Like a strawberry slice. And I also made some pudding trinket boxes. Yeah, so... Actually, the top is kind of in this shape but I decided to make it round at the top so it can kind of like cover it better. I'm not sure if this is a good idea. And I also made two donuts. Um, I was actually quite intrigued with how donuts were made. Like, where do you start and where do you stop? But I quickly managed to understand after searching a free pattern online. Again, I'll link it in the description if you guys want to make one too. So I have yet to add any like toppings or sprinkles on it yet. I'm just making it and like seeing if I have enough yarn and like yeah. And I also made some omo rice. Free tutorial on YouTube. Link will be in the description. Um, I made two. Because I know that I have a lot of this like yellow yarn that I want to clear and it's really hard to like sell it or give it away. So I'm quite happy with how it turned out. And I'm going to make it into a keychain. And the reason why I make lots of keychain is just because I feel like it has the highest profit margin. And I guess... And I guess keychains are really like trendy. Like there's a lot of people who like to stack their keychains and stuff. So I personally go with a lot of keychains, even though you can of course go with like crochet bags, like I do crochet like book sleeves, like more practical stuff. Um I would love to try it, but I would say it's also more time consuming and you're not sure if you're able to sell it. So yeah, today I'm going to make more omu rice, some more strawberries, and I am going to make some pancakes. So if the 3mm hook does arrive in time, like by today, then I would start on the melon sodas too. But yeah, I'm going for like Japanese food, cute foods, you know. Yeah, and let's get to crafting.
Hey guys, so I spend most of my day today making lots of omu rice. So I made a total of seven and I'm going to add the keychains to them now. I realize they kind of look like corn, so I don't know if I should hang it like this, like this, or maybe like diagonally. I'm thinking like this. Kind of looks more like omu rice. And yeah, I realized that one of my keychains in my box is like broken. So just a reminder to everyone to do quality checks before you continue crafting. Yeah. Hey guys, so it's day 2 of prepping for my booth and my consignment and today I'm going to make some matcha donuts I brought some more yarn so I'm going to make pancakes lemons, oranges and some more chocolate donut yeah, so I actually had an issue because I wanted to use like a rotating stand for my consignment but the one that I ordered got cancelled and they cancelled it really late so I don't have enough time to buy a new one so I did order another one and that's like the, the size I want at another consignment store now so the one I have right now is like taller and it won't be able to fit that space allocated to me in the consignment so I'll have to head to the consignment shop, swap it for mine and then bring it to the second consignment shop yeah it's a bit complicated but this is my desk buddy for today <laughs> his name is Atai he's quite true like that <laughs> and, and this is the work setup for today Maybe you wanna say hi? Yeah. So let's get to crafting.
tung 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 Hey guys, so I just finished making a pancake and two matcha donuts. So I only had a few hours to do this and usually keychains like this take like 45 minutes to one hour. So yeah, sometimes I just feel like I didn't do much. But it's just that the keychain, like one keychain, like one donut, takes me like 45 minutes to one hour. So it's just like, it's not that I didn't do much. It's just, when you look at it, it feels like it's not a lot. But yeah, I'm going to hit home now. I'm going to grab some dinner for me and my brother. And I will get back to work when I'm at home. I hope you guys liked Atai's presents. He's been a little EP baby and I am gonna head home and say goodbye to Atai. Oh he's in the stuffing. <laughs> yeah. Bye! Hey guys, so I am now home. I ate my dinner and I worked on more keychains. I made more pancakes and I also finished like two more matcha donuts so this is my progress for today i always feel like i don't make enough in a day but i also have to consider that i eat lunch and dinner and yeah like it's tough like crocheting fast consistently throughout the whole day so i do feel a little bad for not making more but Tomorrow, I will be attaching the keychains for whatever I've made. I will be taking pictures to promote it on my Instagram, my social media. I will be sewing like beads on the donuts. If possible, if possible, I will make more like strawberry clips and possibly oranges and lemons for the consignment. Yeah, so I would need to set aside some time tomorrow to kind of plan what I want to bring for the consignment and the booth. So I will also need to like kind of gauge how much space I have, how much I need to bring for the consignment because that's happening first. So I will go rest and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Bye bye! Hey guys, so this afternoon I did some important tasks like green shipping for like international orders. So as of now, I made more donuts. I have a total of six here. 
and later I'll be kind of like arranging stuff to see the space I have for the consignment and I realize it's quite big, it's bigger than I expected but yeah, I did some trial and error but I didn't really like the look of beads or at least the beads I have and like the sprinkle and stuff so like I'm just gonna sew on this really cute strawberry button at the top right or left and then attach a gold keychain on top something simple, I like it simple like, yeah Hey guys, so I just took a shower. I was having a bit of a headache just now, but I'm feeling better and yeah, I will just try and figure out how I want to display my stuff at the consignment shop tomorrow. I will set it up tomorrow in like the late afternoon and then the consignment, like the event will start on the next day, carrying on for three days. Yeah. Hey guys, so today I kind of felt sick. Um, I think it's because of my eczema. I think like uh, I had like a infected eczema on my thigh, and it kind of made me really tired and fatigued. So I couldn't really get much work done until now, and it's like one a.m. and this is what the setup looks like. Tomorrow, I'm gonna head to the doctor's first and then to the consignment shop. Yeah! Hey guys, so it's the last day to prepare for the booth tomorrow and I'm just gonna make more stuff and there's an issue because I'm waiting for that rotating stand and hopefully it, it arrives by today so I can take like a thumbnail I can, I don't know, like gauge how much I need to make but from all the stocks I have, I think I have enough to go tomorrow I just 
I want to make more in case. But I'm really proud of my box of donuts. This took quite a long time to make, so it's nice to see them in a box. And I just finished making three more of the pudding trinket boxes. So recently the yarn that came was a little bit thinner than the previous one that I had, so the cover I had to modify and make it smaller so it fit better. Oh, yeah. So there's a free YouTube tutorial on YouTube, but I did modify mine a bit. So the original one is something like this. But mine is round at the top. And again, I'll link the tutorial in the description below. As well as for the donuts. Yeah. So I'm going to make some more pancakes and some more puddings but keychain form and melon sodas if I have time. Yeah. Hi guys, so I went to have dinner and I took a shower. So this is the setup. It's really cute. I like that it's transparent. I feel like I might get one more because I've been doing a lot of different consignment and booths. So it is really essential to have one of these. It can fit so many keychains and I feel that it's... this one is quite sturdy. Like. You know, the previous metal one kind of dangles left and right sometimes. But this one is pretty pretty solid. So in the missing spaces I might I think I'll make a blue melon soda because I have a friend who likes blue, so yeah I mean I, I did buy Yan to make blue melon sodas also. And I am also making some pancakes, so I am not sure if I should add it on here. But I'm liking the selection of stuff right now, so I am just gonna make a few more keychains for tonight. And then start taking in stock, doing price tags. Fortunately, I ran out of my price tags recently because I had consignment and Sometimes my prices change, so yeah, like I ran out of like the first hundred price tags I used, and I ordered some, but it won't arrive in time. So I will likely just kind of like paste price tags of like a certain item and not price tag all of them individually. Yeah, and I'll just bring like 
some extra stuff the pudding the donuts and I am going to bring some miscellaneous keychains hang it on the grid and I should be good to go so I'll just finish up with the pancakes and make some blue melon sodas and make some strawberry keychains yeah Hi guys, so last update for the night, I have all my price tags done and I'm quite happy with how it looks. I just finished a blue melon soda, yeah, and yeah, I'm pretty much ready to go. I just need to write the price tag for the other stuff like the pudding boxes. And the donuts and I'm good to go. Hey guys, good morning. Uh, so today is the day and I have with me my breakfast. So I'm gonna get changed, take a quick photo of my thumbnail and then quickly pack my bag because I woke up a little late. It's raining today, so I think I have to get a taxi. <laughs> but yeah, let's go. So I'm back. I'm wearing this black color top. It's this like knitted top I drifted really long ago. And it's really well done. I really like it. <laughs> and I'm wearing this uh, three quarter pants, black and green, because I want to take some photos of my beanie. For my, because I'm doing a pattern test and I gotta provide some photos and videos, so I was thinking this outfit would match.
However, I don't think I'm wearing the beanie the whole day because usually I find that wearing like hats in Singapore kind of makes me like a little bit dizzy or like gives me a headache after a while. So I might wear it later, but I'm not sure yet. But I'll take, be taking photos, so yeah. So today I'm having raspberry yogurt with granola and oranges. Which is really nice. And after I eat this, I'm just gonna pack stuff up. Yeah. Hey guys, so I forgot to bring my cloth for the table so I have to I went to the nearby mall to find this but it's like $30 but I gotta get it lah <laughs> Hey guys, so I just got some mosquito repellent for my booth partner. They said that there was like a lot of mosquitoes around. So yeah, I'm okay right now.
Walang BBQ. Hey guys, so I reached home. I went to eat some comfort food with my partner. We took a nap, showered, and here I am. So I went to exchange like some prizes. Da! <laughs> I'm thinking of giving these to like my pentails. So. Okay, so now on to the rent and how much I earned today. So today I earned $91. My rental was $54.50. The transport was $11.50. And I did spend some money on food. The cloth I had to use, I had to go to a nearby store to buy. I'm not gonna include that this time, so I don't feel so bad about how much I earned. Okay, so if I just deduct the transport and the booth rental, I will earn $25. Honestly, it's also not the best. Usually, I would be able to earn like 100 plus at a regular event. So again, this is a mistake on my part for kind of like desperately booking before checking the place out, asking around if it's good. I just... Yeah, I just got desperate and booked the event. So this event and the last event was not that great but again i can learn from this experience it's more about learning <laughs> from past mistakes in terms of exposure there was a few people who did follow my account i wouldn't say that much because it was really quiet there was only four of us in the area and you have to go upstairs to like kind of like see us it was really hard to get people to like come into the booth area because it was like kind of like an enclosed room and if people were walking around that area they can like walk into this room but it was really quiet there's no music okay it was really quiet and it's just the four of us so it's just kind of like if you enter you just gotta turn back like it's just kind of awkward to step into the room like everybody's just looking at you because it's only like so much space for you to browse around it can kind of make people feel awkward or less obliged to walk in that direction so they just like and they just like walk away which is understandable like i if only if i was really genuinely interested in seeing what they sold then i yes i will walk that way but if it's just like a passerby they might feel like nah it's okay i won't go you know yeah, but uh, I would say the pros of this event is that it's aircon and because it's like just the three, I mean four of us, uh, it was, I would say more cozy. Like we were talking to each other, like sharing tips. We were like sharing experiences of previous booths or events. And yeah, when there was like not many people, I also went to walk around and like see if I can get anything from anyone to just like show my support also. So I got a few items and I will leave their user here if you want to check their stuff out. So first I got this really cool cat print. So yeah, I it, it's a postcard double sided with another cat here and it is by Sarah Devi Art. I wanted to get this for my pen pal because I have one i currently have one and i have two soon uh we haven't exactly started sending each other yet but it's in the works so i just kind of like to indulge myself in buying postcard stuff like gifts for my pen pals like when it like happens or like for my current pen pal you know and i got a few various items from this shop called Thai Fun. So Thai fan is like a dish in Singapore where it's called like it's like a mixed vegetable rice where you can kind of choose mix and match what you want. Maybe like two vegetables, one beet, that kind of thing. So their concept behind this store was that they had different friends that they were boofing together or like in this same in this one platform. 
So because they are all different and unique in their own way, so they call it Thai fun, like kind of like mixed veggie rice where you list like a lot of selections, which is kind of cool. So I bought this strip that kind of looks like a photo strip, but it's actually stickers, which is so cool. And I was asking like, hey, are you gonna like have prints of this? Just like, oh no, like I'm, I'm clearing it. So I was like, let me get this. This is so cool. Yeah. And I also got, wait. Yeah, and I also got this very cute, I, I think it's Taiyaki. Uh, yeah, I think it's a ta Taiyaki matcha ice cream and a cake. Really cute stuff. I'm glad that I was able to support them as well. And they also like browse my stuff. And one of them did buy a tomato, which I'm really thankful for. So the next one I got was this two cat pouch. So it was like a mom inspired sewing. Handmade shop, really cute. There was lots of different handmade so handmade sewing projects that was really so adorable. So at first I really wanted to buy something, so I got this really it's like the it's called the mama pouch because it's the bigger one. And then this is the smaller is it baby pouch if I remember correctly. So it was also really affordable. So I got the big one for myself and I was thinking really hard if I should buy a gift for one of my friends, so I bought this small one for one of my pen pals. Yeah, I, I just really wanted the support and I really love this print, so I'm sure whoever I'm giving it to will also like it a lot. Yeah, so definitely not gonna lie, this is kind of like my favorite. <laughs> I love this so much. Yeah, it, definitely it kind of inspires me to start sewing also. And I really like that it's also double line. Like that is just quality stuff, you know? A zipper, cute print, and it's double line. I love it. I love it. So that is all for my haul. I'll be heading to Japan in the start of October. So if you guys are watching this part and if you have any recommendations on where you should, you would like me to go, I'm thinking of visiting a few yarn shops and craft shops maybe i can buy some fabric if it's if i like it yeah i'll be taking like japan tokyo vlog like places i'm going with my partner it's gonna be so cool it's my first time traveling with me and my partner and like i guess without a parent yeah so if you guys enjoy crochet market vlogs, sewing, crafting, and tutorials, do subscribe. And if you like this video, leave a like or a comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!